What's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie P.O. Day. So, I know it says let's sacrifice Toby. It should say let's sacrifice Brandon. Gas prices are high. And that's why I'm giving you some good news today. Oh, this comes with a discount code. Donnie B all day. D-O-N-N-I-E B all day. All separate words. Um, this is the Kubi Dugu. And if anybody knows Dugu, you know Count Dugu from Star Wars was nasty. And uh, this thing is every bit of that. It's quick, it's smooth. You see how soft that is? It opens fast, but sounds soft. You hear that? Man, that's just nice. And I have to say, I have been carrying this one in my pocket, the Kubi Wolverine, and this thing is nice. I just did a video on this one. Sweet freaking knife. Let me put this right here. So let's go over the specs. I got them right here in front of me of the Dugu. And what I'm going to do also is add the description to this page and it's going to look a lot like that except it probably opens up to the black one uh, maybe um, but i'm going to add a description to this page so you can check them out now when i said the black one it's because they come in different colors like all kubi designs pretty much is they come with options and um this green right here with the with that um uh, stone wash looking blade that's really tough looking, I gotta say, it's pretty nice. I wanted the red and black because I have all these different color combinations and I'm like, I really need a nice red and black. And I looked at some of their stuff and so here's black with stone wash. And I saw red and black and I went, oh my God, that's a must have. This one is black with a different kind of handle. You could see that this is the flat G10 where the other ones had like different contouring them so you can get them different styles so there's that one the red one and you can even get it in ivory and that looks pretty smoking hot too so um so let's go over the specs on this guy right here we're talking about it's a folder obviously it's brand kubi um the name is dugu uh the color is red <laughs> if if you guys are having problems with any of this information i can go back and, and go over it again um so let's see here we go now we're getting into it overall length 6.93 inches seven inches um blade length 2.91 inches three inches uh handle length 4.01 inches four inches um handle thickness 0.51 just a hair over half inch with a blade width boop of 0.94 it's just about an inch in um, blade depth, which is really nice. It is a 3.1 millimeter blade thickness, and the blade material, the other one I brought you was um, D2, not this one. This one's a, Sand, um, a Sandvik. This is 14C28N, just like the titanium that I brought you. It's really good steel. This is really good steel. You have a Rockwell of 58 to 60, drop point, um, the wait is this one yeah this is the scandiv okay um it is a flat grind g10 liner lock and they always have skeletonized frames oh yeah you can see that just makes it better it's just better for weight reduction and all that jazz makes it better in the pocket it is an ambidextrous um uh, dexterity with caged ceramic ball bearings as they all do um, awesome, 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 and that's where we're at. So I will make sure that you guys get a description. Um, and this one I just did, and this thing is so super sharp. I've been cutting like a maniac. I'm raising right now. I'm fostering a, uh, a baby raccoon. It's about five weeks old. Uh, if you look at my video below this one um, or next to this one, however you're looking, you'll see a video that says baby raccoon. It's because I'm raising a baby raccoon and I'm constantly cutting stuff up for this raccoon in between food and all that and toys. So that little guy right there has come in so handy. The Wolverine is used for the raccoon, but this one is the Doo-Goo. Man, this thing is so smooth. Um, it is a flipper. It is a curled this way flipper and it is jimped right here so it makes it easy grab every single time i told you it's skeletonized um there is a small frame block there keeps everything nice and tight 
Now, I was reading through some of the comments on the Kubi videos that I've been doing, and every single person who commented that they have a Kubi talks about how they have a Kubi and they love it. The Kubis are absolutely jamming, guys. This company is getting bigger, 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 and better. And eventually what happens is when you get a company that grows, the prices are going to grow. Right now, these things are priced great. Plus, you get a discount with Donnie B all day, so it works out. Um, so get them while they're hot. Um, but this guy right here is beautiful. Is it sharp? Well, let's see. <laughs> Does raccoon poop in my house? Yes, it's sharp. Um, just absolutely Oh, it's on my thumb. Absolutely razor freaking sharp. And every single Kubi I've I've gotten is absolutely freaking lutely razor sharp. I'm talking er razor sharp. But you don't want to see me cutting hair with it all day long. So let's go out there with it all day long. All right. Boop. Out here in the sunshine. It's a hot one today, guys. So it says that it's zero sugar. The blade says it's zero sugar problems i mean just absolutely shred stuff sharp this knife is sharp Hold on. so people want to know hey d bad what what are these knives good for is this a fighting knife well if it's in your hand when you get into a fight yeah d bad is this a bushcraft knife well if this is the knife you have in the woods then yeah d bad is this an edc <laughs> oh yeah this knife is an edc i just missed the stump almost got myself almost got myself that was almost a d-bad ankle taker all right so let's do a couple four foot drops and we'll see how she flies woo wee i think i dropped that one crooked we'll find out i sure did i sure did i had it by the uh i had it by the pocket clip and i'm just letting it turn out of my hand but there you go let's do a couple hard downward throws we'll see if anything happens uh oh <laughs> i absolutely missed my throw there we go Damn. did you see how far that buried it look at i don't know if you guys can see that but it buried you could see the line all the way up to the end of the cutout that is insane bite the dirt i mean i really want you guys to see that um the dirt is right there you can see the line perfectly um let's try that again boom that is so nice, man. This thing has got crazy, crazy bite. Four layers of leather belt. No problem. This belt's getting a little short. It's not going to fit my waist anymore, I'll tell you that. I'm a big fatty. All right, so we got the half-inch nylon rope. Let's do the half-inch nylon rope push cut. And golly, not only... I, that's a push cut. That's not a saw. That's not a chop. It's a push cut. And it cut itself straight. First of all, here's the end of that rope that made a beautifully, perfectly clean cut, but it pushed so effortlessly, it dug itself right into the wood. Let's see. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah. Let's see, bam. I mean, see ya, bye blade. That thing's gone. Ooh, and it makes a nice tear. This thing is sweet. I have to say that if you were a fan of like the red and black color, I know that Joe from Steel Forge and Fire Sword and Knife is a huge fan of this color combination. Um, if you were a fan of this color combination, uh, you are going to love this. This color is amazing. It is sweet, 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 sweet. The uh, the red is so vibrant, and the black is just absolutely black look at this thing man it is nice this is a really nice edc this is a really nice edc so remember i said is it a bushcraft well if you got it in the woods it is let's find out man that's just nice that's just nice this is some like rotty wood and it's still able to get it thin without just making it crumble which is pretty hard to do with this rotted wood. Um, but, I mean, that's that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Let's see. Let's see. It's not a chopper. But, in the right scenario, it will chop. It will chop a little. It will chop a little. It's not made for it, but it's doing it. 
Let's see. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm going through the meat and taters of this stick. Right here is hard. Right here, not so much. Here is still good. Oh, man. I am taking massive chunks. Why? Because the edge profile um, married to the blade profile, that flat grind, man, that is just nice. Look at that. It's making a good, good tip. So you got to make those pit spikes, spears, or, you know, arrows, or anything you need for your campsite. Bada boom, bada bing. So let's see, speaking of bada boom, bada bing, this has nothing to do with that. Let's see if we can baton with it. I don't know if I have enough real estate because I pick a pretty fat piece of wood, but we will find out. I got a big knot right here. Thank you guys, are still in frame. All right, I am at the knot and went straight through the knot. Man, oh man, let's see how it works. Boom, boom. And I, I hear some people say things like, oh, I don't trust liner locks and liner locks, liner locks, liner locks. If the liner lock is good, the knife is good. Um, <laughs> got the two dogs up there we're raising some some kittens and they're just now getting off of being starting to get off being bottle fed got kittens in the house got raccoon in the house um and so the dogs are looking through the window as shelly's in there feeding and playing with the cats <laughs> they're getting jealous all right so so if if your knife is good then to hear oh yeah but liner locks frame locks this lock that no if it's I'm, I'm literally just carving right through this while i'm talking um it wow it just doesn't matter it's just good it's just good it has nothing nothing is going to slow this thing down it's just awesome i mean you talk about a knife to put in your pocket to where it's going to be there for when you need a knife and you know it's better to have one and not need one than need one and not not have one um this thing is pocket friendly and pocket ready. It's just ready to go, cutting straight out of the box like a freaking champ. Let's go over to all these little viney things over here, make sure dogs aren't running away, and uh, get some cutting. I freaking love Kubi knives. Ever since that first one, I am just a nonstop Kubi guy. Look at this, just so easy. How many is that? Three. All right, so there's three. This one's three. Golly, it's just so, so easy. So easy. It's just going to do it every single time. These things are made for cutting. Kubi is no joke when it comes to edge profiling. And the ceramic ball bearings, there's a reason that every single person so far I've talked to who has one loves it. They love their Kubis because they're just great. Look at that. Got bugs in my head. Let's see if we can get that big one right there. Oh, yeah. That's just all day, every day excellence. Um, this is, uh, you know, Kubi has moved into... Like for me, I would rather go to Kubi's website shopping than Cold Steel, and I'll tell you why. First of all, customer service at Kubi is way better. I mean, this is, I, I get everybody has an opinion. Everybody's dealt with somebody somewhere for something. But I know that at, hey, ho, 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 first try. I know that at Kubi, that was nice. Um, I know that at Kubi, I can get a blade of this stature that's going to do the same job as a, as a blade of equal size, same exact job, um, where I can get one of these for half the price or even less than half, better than half than I can at Cold Steel. And so my thing is, if I can get a knife to do the same exact job, to open beautifully, to lock beautifully, to close beautifully, just to be beautifully, um, then why would I want to spend more money? <laughs> That's not as beautiful. But um, the reputation for reputation, these guys are absolutely growing 
And like I said, read some of the comments of people that have um, that have commented about how they own Kubis. One guy uh, just commented, he you know, he's a big Kubi fan. He, he bought some, blah, blah. I did that Wolverine. He's like, well, now I got to go buy two of them. Yeah, imagine that. I think it's because he wanted some color combinations. But look at this knife, man. That is beautiful. The pocket clips are always good on these. You will never, ever have a problem with the pocket clip. The G10 is properly textured. Um, the jimping on the liner lock just makes it for easy and flawless operation. Um, even if you don't like flippers, you just want to do a little pinch and pull, that's fine. You know, some people are just old school and they like that kind of thing right there. These knives are awesome. So I'm really glad that um, I got two because I, it came down to, I'm looking and there's a Wolverine, there's a Dugu, and there's your two new models. And it's like, ooh, which one would someone want? Which one would I want in my pocket? Well, I wanted both. So there's these. I think, I think the next one is gonna be a premium because they have some seriously sweet premiums. I show you my titanium all the time. Um, that is a knife I carry quite often. I mean quite often. And it's one of their uh, more premium lines and they have even more premium than that. But uh, it's this is the same steel. Uh, and this stuff is really, really freaking good. Um, but that's it for this one, man. If you're looking for a great EDC, and I, I implore you to check out that link down below. Just like I tell you to check out Choir Boys Cutlery Outdoors, my man Scab. Um, check out that link down below because um, you're going to be able to see that they have different, not just different handle colors, but different handle styles, completely different styles of grip with the same blade. And um, they're gorgeous. They're freaking gorgeous. But price point for price point, this is at the price point of what you see like Cold Steel online what they go for on their web page web page um when you when you look at a cold steel on their web page um you're gonna see how much they're going for you go over to kubi and you look at the kubi knives and you're saying all right so this this does the same job it's the same sharpness it's got ceramic um cage ceramic ball bearings but it's half the price or better okay well maybe open up your mind a little bit boop that's what I did. I opened up my mind, and now my mind has stayed open, and I just keep going with them. Um, I am digging this. So now I've got the red, the white, the blue, and I've got black and gray and titanium. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what's next. That's it for this one, guys. I am Donnie B. All Day. Until next knife.